This is Blinkbox. It's a tool I made to make working with addressable LEDs a little bit easier. So the idea is you can enter the count and animation pattern you want on the LED strip and it'll show up. So usually when a light goes out in one of these strips or a solder connection comes loose or a channel dies or something like that, in order to avoid having to rip the rest of the project apart to debug it, I would, I would put something together like this on like a breadboard or something like that to be able to quickly fig figure out what the problem was. This basically has that same functionality like changing the count of LEDs and changing the pattern but looks a lot nicer and hopefully it has like, you know, it's got like a nice 3D printed enclosure and nice buttons and switches so it'll hopefully last a lot longer. So the UI is really simple. Um, this switch turns everything off and on. This switch will let you change the LED type. Um, this decreases the count and this one increases it and that count ramps as you press and hold. Um, this final switch will switch between the different animation patterns. Um, the output connector can support either um, clocked or time-based LEDs, so NeoPixels or like the APA 102s. Um, there's a potentiometer up here for display contrast. And all the settings, I don't know if you've noticed, all the settings, whenever you change one of the settings, it gets saved into the E squared prom, so you don't have to keep entering your settings when you turn everything off, which is nice. Those fairy lights were based on the WS2811 drivers, but these are NeoPixels, so they're based on the 2812s. I'll turn it, I'll switch the mode and then turn it back on, um, and it works no problem. So, if you have any questions or want to see how it was built, I've posted the code, um, the mechanical parts, so like the STL files and the electrical schematics on my website. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment there or anywhere else. Um, Okay, thanks for watching.